Hey YouTube, <laughs> welcome back to the African Allure Outdoors. Um, I came and sat in a hide this afternoon. We're after a bit of, of venison, and uh, this afternoon's target was a blue wildebeest. So I've been in the hide for some time. They came in. I've got two cameras up at the back there, so I hope, I hope they're recording. <laughs> seem to be heard a couple of fails lately with that but uh, put an arrow through the wildebeest a little bit above the heart because I'm shooting for the pot so I want a clean pass through the arrow I can see I think the arrow is probably about maybe 40 yards beyond the wildebeest the wildebeest didn't even make it to the 10 yards and she went down the rest of the herd is still no, they've actually moved off now so I'm gonna call some help Come and help me load here and we're going to get this job done as soon as i get out of the hide i'll run through the shot how far it was um, but it looks good i mean she's down in 10 yards so good stuff anyway we're going to have some lucky eating in a few days Okay, so we've just whacked this wildebeest. Um, how my hides are set up is for the wind. So our prevailing wind here is out of the northwest. So in the afternoon, you look directly into the sun. It's a bit of a pain, but it's just one of those things. So uh, the hide is just over here and the wildebeest is just under the sun there. So double lung shot. There's no blood on the arrow. Anyway. Uh, this is a 200 grain bishop, Holy Trinity. It did its job, it zipped right through that wildebeest. I don't think she even knew what was happening there. Um, as I said, a venison wildebeest. So we're going to be making some biltong and some other good things. Anyway, she went down in a very funny position. So I guess we'll take a few photos and 
get it out, get it sorted. Okay, so this afternoon we've taken this blue wildebeest cow. Uh, she's going to be used for venison, so for we'll take out the back straps and we'll make uh, biltong from it. Then the rest of the animal will be cut up into parts that we'll use for um, dried sausage, which we call druvors. We'll also utilize it for a South African delicacy called burovors, and the rest will go into mince. And then, of course, um, the bones and stuff will be cut up, and those every part of this animal will be utilized. Even my better looking half will make use of the, the skull and the horns for the business that she runs, which is called Beautiful Horns. And uh, yeah, we're just very thankful and very blessed to have harvested such a beautiful fat cow. Um, she didn't go very far. She ran approximately 15 yards where we put an arrow through her. It was a clean and efficient kill and it went very well. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.